Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be going through another week in brew view and kind of a so-so week for the crew going three and three starting off with a series win against the Philadelphia Phillies one of the strongest teams in the NL wildcard race but then losing a series against the Pittsburgh Pirates it's like why what are you doing you're supposed to beat the Pirates and now the Cubs are only a game and a half behind us but getting too ahead of ourselves let's go ahead and start with the weekend action with the Milwaukee Brewers taking a 7-5 victory over the Phillies in Game 1 of their series. Scoring-wise for the crew. Um, starting off the top of the first with a Kyle Schwarber leadoff home run for a 1-0 Philadelphia lead. Then the bottom of the fourth, the Brewers took the lead 3-1 thanks to a Willie Adamas three-run shot. Then the Phillies took the lead with a Brandon Marsh single for a 3-2 deficit and then Trey Turner hit a massive three-run home run for a 5-3 to three Philadelphia lead. But then, bottom of the eighth, Tyrone Taylor walked to bring the score within one. Then, William Gutierrez, Carlos Santana, and Tyrone Taylor scored on an error by third baseman Alec Bohm, with Owen Miller getting to second base on the play for the 7-5 Milwaukee lead. Hitting for the crew, Yelich 0 for 4, Gutierrez 2 for 4, Santana 3 for 2, Adamas 1 for 4 with a home run and 3 RBIs. Then Mark Cannon with 1 for 3. Adamas got his 22nd home run of the season. Freddie Peralta pitched really good, going 6 innings, giving up 2 hits, 1 earned run, which was the Kyle Schroeder leadoff home run, and 10 strikeouts. Hobie Milner got his 15th home when the scoreless inning with a strikeout. Joel Pyam struggled, going 2 thirds of the innings, giving up 2 hits, 3 earned runs, and a strikeout. And Devin Williams. Technically blue to save, but picked up his eighth win of the year, going one and a third innings, giving up one hit, one earned run on that Trey Turner home run. The Brewers were then able to win the second game of series seven to five as well. Start off badly. Why did my internet keep doing this to me? I do not know. Start off badly in the top of the first and second with a Kyle Schwarber solo shot to lead off the game again, and then JT Realmuto solo shot for a two nothing Philadelphia lead. But the Brewers took the lead in the bottom of the second with a Bryce Terang single, a Tyrone Taylor double, and a yellow single for a 3-2 Milwaukee lead. Then Carlos Santana hit a two-run home run, and Mark Hanna doubled in a run, and Trey Turner singled in a run in the bottom of the fifth for a 7-2 Milwaukee lead. Trey Turner hit a home run for a 7-3 deficit, and then Castellanos and Schwarber both drove in a run each for a 7-5 Milwaukee win. Christian Yelich went 1-5 with an RBI. Charles 2 for 5, Santana 1 for 3 with a home run and 2 RBIs, Mark Hanna 2 for 3 with an RBI, Terang 2 for 4 with 2 RBIs, Monasterio 3 for 4, Tyrone Taylor 1 for 4 with an RBI, Canna got 2 doubles on the game, giving him 22 on the year, Tyrone Taylor got his ninth double of the season, and William Gutierrez got his 33rd, Santana hit his 19th home run of the year, and Bryce Strang got his 18th steal. Colin Ray went four and a third innings in relief of Adrian Hauser, who is now on the IL, going giving up three hits, two earned runs, and six strikeouts. Andrew Schaefer got his third win of the year, going a scoreless inning with a strikeout. Trevor McGill went one and two thirds innings, giving up two hits, one earned run on a home run, but had five strikeouts. Hobie Milner went a third of an inning with a walk and a run allowed. Elvis Pereira went two thirds of innings, giving him the 19th hold of the year, and then Devin Williams went. Got a 30-second save of the year, going an inning with an earned run and a strikeout as well. But the Brewers were unable to complete the sweep, losing 4-2 against the Phillies. Started off great for the crew with a 2-0 lead quickly by a Willing Contreras solo shot and a Mark Canna solo shot. But then the Phillies were able to get to Wade Miley in the 6th and 7th innings with a Castellano double that scored in Kyle Schwarber. Then Bohm and Rio Milto both hit solo home runs each for a 3-2 Philadelphia lead. And then Trey Turner hit a single for a 4-2 Philadelphia victory. For the crew, Cannon won 2-4 for four with a home run RBI. Contreras won for 5 with a home run RBI. Santana won for 5. Taylor won for 4. Victor Caratini 2-4 for four as well. Cannon got his ninth home run of the year and Contreras got his 15th. And Cannon also got his 8th steal of the year. Wayne Miley started out really good, but then the seventh inning just destroyed him. With six and a third innings, giving up four hits, four earned runs, three walks, four strikeouts, and two home runs. Abner Rivia went two thirds scoreless innings with a strikeout. Then Chafin and Wilson both went a scoreless inning as well. The Brewers then traveled to Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates, where they lost the first game four to two. Started off good for the crew in the top of the second with a Mark Victor Caratini and Bryce Strang both hit sacrifice flies for a two nothing Milwaukee lead. Then bottom of the fourth and fifth, the Brewers just struggled. 
Jack Sawinski hit a two-run shot to tie the game up. Then Key Brian Hayes and Andrew McCutcheon drove in a run each for the 4-2 to two loss for the crew. Yellows went 0 for 3. Contreras went for 4. Freelick went for 3. Canna and Caratini won for 3 each. Caratini got an RBI. Train picked up an RBI. And Monastery went 2 for 3 as well. Caratini got his third double of the year. Burns struggled a little bit going 6 innings. He gave up 4 earned runs on 7 hits and 7 strikeouts. Hobie Miller won a scoreless inning with two strikeouts, and Bryce Wilson won a scoreless inning with a strikeout as well. But the Brewers were able to take Game 2 of the series 7-3 behind an excellent pitching by Brandon Woodruff. Started off top of the fourth with a Mark Cannon double play that scored in a run. Then Monastery hit his first career triple to score in a run. Bryce Strang reached on an infield single. Then Yelich hit a sacrifice fly for a 4 nothing Milwaukee lead. Carlos Santana doubled in Tyrone Taylor. And Mark Cannon singled in a run. Two runs, both of which were scored on the error by Palacios. Only runs for the Pirates were in the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh, Connor Joe hit a three-run home run off of Clayton Andrews. He also went over three with an RBI. Uh, Santana one for three with an RBI. Cannon one for four with an RBI. Safri like two for three. Monsero one for three with an RBI. Terang one for three with an RBI. And Tyron Taylor one for four. Santana got his 29th double of the year. Safri like got his six. Monastero got his first triple of the season, as did Sal Freelich as well. Woodruff was fantastic, going seven scores innings, getting two hits, two walks, and six strikeouts. Andrew Schaefer won the scores inning with a strikeout. Clayton Andrews again struggled, three hits, three earned runs, one home run. But Ellis Guerrero got a scoreless inning for the Milwaukee victory. But then the Brewers dropped game three and the series overall, five to four against the Pirates. Start off strong for the crew with a three-run shot by Willie Adamas for the lead. And then Key Brian Hayes hit a solo home run and bring the game within 3-1. to one. Bottom of the sixth, the Pirates able to tie the game off a of Jackson Winsky double and a Palacio single. Then bottom of the seventh, g Bay tripled in a run and an Andujar singled in Bay. Then top of the eighth, the Brewers got another run back but with a Mark Canna single, but it was just not enough as the Brewers fell 5-4. Yelich from 1-4. for four. Contreras went one for four. Freelich one for four. Adamas two for three with a home run and three RBIs. Canna two for three with a RBI. And Monastero went one for four. Yelich got his 31st double. Adamas got his 23rd home run. And Contreras got his third steal of the year. Freddy Peralta went five and a third innings, getting out four hits, three earned runs, and four strikeouts. McGill went two thirds of innings, giving up with two strikeouts. Guerrero got the loss, two thirds of innings, giving up two earned runs and a strikeout. Holy Mona went a third of an inning with a strikeout, but then Admiral Oribe did come out, pitched well. One inning, all three strikeouts. So he's been pitching very well for the crew. But if you look at the Brewers coming up so far in the schedule department, we have a three-game set against the New York Yankees and then a four-game set against the Miami Marlins. We really need to pick it up here because the Cubs are playing really good baseball. As you can see, they've won four in a row, a game and a half behind the crew in the division. So the Brewers need to start shaping up. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please run like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon with a week one recap of NFL action. Until then, see you around.